Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a what I eat in a day and I'm gonna share with you guys what I've been doing to lose the weight that I've been losing um, while on keto. Like give you all of the specifics, give you all the snack ideas and food ideas, etc. So without any further ado, let's hop on into the video. Hey guys, so if you've been following along on some of my most recent vlogs, I switched from um, keto to Weight Watchers back to keto again, and I was like very loose, like not loose, but like I was a not strict keto. I wanna say I was more so low carb before. Um, and then I went to Weight Watchers because I wanted to eat normal food this summer and see if Weight Watchers would help me lose the weight. It did not. So now I'm hopping back into a an accelerated keto, um, something that I've done in the past that I know works really well for my body and I get into ketosis really, really fast. Um, so basically what I do is I limit myself to 20 to 30 carbs per day, um, 1500 calories per day. The reason why I need to put a limit for calories on myself a lot of people will argue and say that you do not need to calorie count when you're on keto. I do because I tend to overeat on keto because it's so easy, especially when you're having higher fat content foods. It's so easy to overeat those items. And I saw a like total like plateau in my weight loss there, which there should not be a plateau in my weight loss because I have plenty to lose. I have about 50 pounds to lose. So until I get there, I need to be diligent with my calorie intake. So I've been doing 1500 calories, 20 to 30 net carbs per day. And then I also give myself an, like a little eating window. I try to go for about six or seven hours. So that would be from like 11 to six or 12 to six. I try to make it as close to noon as possible. And then I stop eating for the day at 6 p.m. Okay guys, so it is like 3.15 now and I'm about to have my first big meal of the day. Riker is eating a snack right now. Um, so just to put it into like on my macros here. Okay, for like a snack when I got home, I had two tablespoons of ranch and pickles and then I had a venison snack stick. Um, so anyway, now I am really hungry. I try to hold off as long as possible. I try not to snack, um, but since I'm just baby stepping back into keto, I'm like being easy on myself and just making sure I'm hitting my macros and staying within my eating window. So I'm gonna share with you guys, this is my first huge meal. Um, it looks gigantic, but I weighed everything out. It's um, 560 calories, so it is a big, salad a taco salad i do shredded iceberg lettuce i make my own taco meat so like instead of buying the seasoning that has like fillers and stuff i make my own taco seasoning at home and then i've recorded that previously in um, my fitness pal so i record and i had it like set like per ounce so i put th about 3.37 ounces on here um, and then I topped it with about 46 grams of ranch and um, a little bit of queso and salsa and avocado, shredded cheese, and onion, 560 calories. So good. Um, so like I said, it's 315. I'm gonna dig into that and then I will check back in with you um, to show you what I have for dinner because it's probably going to be lighter. Uh, since I'm having such like a heavier like after like late afternoon lunch. Oh, this is one of the days where I do lots of behind the scenes stuff for my YouTube. Um, so I'm like just doing all of that and then eating my food. I'm still sitting here. It usually takes me the whole day to really get caught up on some of that like back work and some of the like more so on the non-creative side or doing research or things like that. It usually takes me a whole day just to really set myself up really well for the month. So in case you guys are wondering what my day is looking like so far, that is what I've been doing most of the day. Okay, so for my last meal of the day, I'm having two pieces of quote unquote pizza. Um, basically it's like the pizza, I just like took the toppings all off and this is like a turkey alfredo pizza with mushrooms. 
or that we made like from the um, Thanksgiving leftovers. So anyway, like I said, took the toppings off the pizza, having it with some ranch, um, and I will add up all my macros, my calories and everything, and share with you guys what my total for today was. Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're... Hi guys, okay, I just switched it to my face so you could like actually see me talking instead of like me talking like at the coffee maker. So I'm feeling like a little bit nauseous this morning. Just like my tummy's just kind of upset. And I think it's because I ate a little bit like not, I don't want to say heavier, but I had a lot of cheese yesterday. So I need to eat a little bit cleaner today. I'm thinking for lunch, I'll probably do scrambled eggs, avocado with sriracha and then um, maybe like a cup of chicken broth or a kale smoothie. And then um, for my snack, I'll have a venison snack stick again. Like those aren't terrible. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I'm thinking about just like smoking some chicken breast on the grill and then serving it with like tomato over the top and like a side salad possibly. I don't know. So just, I'm trying to avoid cheese today because I feel very bloated, so. Anywho, okay. This is where the magic happens. Seriously, you do not need to go to Starbucks if you have this. Because it is fantastic. That is not the right cover. You guys, can you tell I haven't had my coffee yet? I'm so tired. Mom, can I have some orange juice? You have some orange juice? Coming right up. What do you say? Okay. Also, side note, you need to rinse this. Wash it every time you're done using it. Otherwise, it gets like a really gross film in it. Yeah. So make sure you get all of the ickiness out of there. All right, phone, apple, teeth. Mm. Yeah, that was good, scalding hot. Oh, I need to wake up a little bit <laughs> before I hop on the camera. <laughs> I'm not doing super well today. I had to break my fast because I literally almost threw up after taking a sip of that coffee. No, I don't think I'm pregnant. <laughs> I always get questions like that, like, oh, you're craving tacos? You're pregnant. You're nauseous? You're pregnant. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad if I was pregnant, let's just say that. But I'm not. But I'm very nauseous this morning. So I just grabbed like a tiniest bit of a venison snack stick. I'm gonna eat this, fill up my water, drink my coffee, and then let's go to Home Goods and get the things. Okay, guys, so it is, I think it's like 12 15 right now. So it's 12.15 and I just, I am making a freaking mess. Okay, so I just got back from Home Goods. it's 12.15. Um, I was gonna take the camera out in there and then the, like the things I wanted to show you guys, they didn't have. I ended up Christmas shopping while I was there. I got like the gift for our daycare provider. Um, I also got a gift for my sister and her boyfriend. Um, I love home goods for like really cute, unique gifts. Um, and like putting together like gift baskets or trays or things like that. So um, highly recommend home goods for all of your gifting needs for Target or Amazon. Like those are my go-tos. Also TJ Maxx. So again, TJ Maxx and um, home goods, Marshalls, um, Target, Amazon. Those are my go-tos for Christmas shopping. Um, anyway, like I said, it is 12.15, so I'm starving now because I just had this much of a bee stick this morning um, to get me going just because I got super nauseous. So I'm actually having um, breakfast for lunch, um, which is what all that noise is in the background. So I'm scrambling some eggs, and I like to put um, 
parsley, um, black pepper, and sea salt in my scrambled eggs. Okay, so I like my scrambled eggs super, super fluffy. Um, and the way that I achieve this is with a cover and I cook it at like two. That's it. You don't want to cook it any higher. So today I'm actually, today I'm actually going to spice it up, spice these scrambled eggs up. Um, so these are the venison snack sticks that I've been talking about to you guys that like my husband went hunting, um, deer hunting. So we have some venison. Um, so I just took it out of its collagen casing. Um, we home make these so there's no fillers, no preservatives, no like ickiness or anything like that. And we make them with half beef and half venison. So, um, and then like all the seasoning in there is just like homemade seasoning. So anyways, it's just like a really like fresh, like healthier way of having beef sticks. And I like love beef sticks, but um, this is actually really good to cut up into scrambled eggs. And I just need like a little, a little extra something. I did three eggs scrambled and then like, just like this length of a um, venison snack stick. Okay, do you guys remember when I told you that food skills are everything when it comes to like dieting? I'm serious. They really are. Also, I decided to add some mushrooms in here. I know uh, mushrooms are like not everybody's thing, but I absolutely love mushrooms in my omelets. So, um, anyway, this is my eggs kicking it up a notch. Look how seriously I'm going to do a close up. These eggs are so good and fluffy and creamy and delicious and the parsley in there is so good. Um, okay, so... I'm going to tear out my scales. I'm just going to like clear it off. Okay, so one of my most favorite things to do is I will add a tablespoon of this, which legit, this has nine grams of carbs in it. So I only will do this like once in a while, but it is my favorite. It's so good. Um, I'm even gonna try and do less than a tablespoon. So at um, 15 mils. So I'm going to try and just do my grams. Okay. All right, now we're at eight. Okay, so I did a half a tablespoon of this, so that's going to come out to four and a half grams of carbs. And then I do sriracha on top, which there's no carbs or anything like that in here. It's like less than one gram um, for a teaspoon, so. Anyways, so I've got that, and then on top of it, all right, and then I'm just gonna top it with my like mushroom bee stick combination. And ta-da, and something else I like to add um, a lot, which I might see, I had a half an avocado somewhere last night, and I kinda might've thrown it away, but I'm gonna take a peek and see if I can add the avocado to this, cause it's so good. Oh, okay, I'm getting tired. I just sat down to eat my food, which this is a close-up of it. It is so good. Like, the eggs, you guys, are so bomb. So bomb, and I'll get to the macros here in a second. So typically what I do is I will grab that. Again, I grab my morning vitamins, and I take them at noon, because I need to eat the, take them with food. Um, and then I start a show and now I'm on day two of like some um, behind the scenes YouTube stuff. Um, behind the scenes YouTube stuff. Um, and also I'm gonna be working on our blog a little bit today too. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do that while Riker naps. He should be napping till about like three today. So I've got a solid couple hours to get this done. Watch my show. Give me one second, I'm gonna add up the macros and I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm just sitting down to have dinner. Um, Mike made like a chicken and rice with mushrooms um, type of like mix. Um, but I just did two chicken tenderloins, um, mushrooms, three scrambled eggs with some Alfredo sauce on top. So let me calculate all my macros. I haven't done any like calculating for macros yet today. Um, but let me go ahead and calculate that up really quick and then I will show you guys what my macros look like for today. Okay guys, I'm on day three and I've been doing a really bad job of sharing my macros with you. So um, really quick, I am going to go over my macros. So this was on Tuesday, the first day I started recording. All right, so here are my macros. From Tuesday I had 15, or I, my goal is always 1500 calories. I have 1220. And then for my nutrition, go to more nutrition. 
Okay, my macros, I had um, 33 carbohydrates, but 11 grams of fiber. So that came out to a net count of 22 um, carbohydrates and 48 grams of protein. I needed to work on my protein this day. I hit my fat goal. Um, oops. And then yesterday I had um, 38 minus six. So I had, which is a little bit over what I typically have, 32 grams of carbs. My max is usually 30. I had 89 protein, I did a little bit better on that. And my fat, I did hit that. I just try to hit my, um, try to keep my sat fats at below 23. Um, and now today so far. Now today, I haven't been doing a very good job of like vlogging my meals today so far, but I had um, the same breakfast or like the same thing I always have every single morning. Anyways, my breakfast this morning, same as usual, breakfast being coffee with my half and half and the peppermint mocha creamer in the frother. And for lunch, um, today I had one of my favorite lunches. I was starving because I had a hair appointment. Um, as you guys can probably tell, um, I got some bangs and I had my roots touched up. So by the time I got home at 12.30, I was starving. Um, so I had, I'm trying to go back. Um, I had a venison snack stick as soon as I walked in the door because I was so hungry, um, which is 100 calories, low, low in carbs. And then I had 10 and a half ounces of wings, which was six traditional wings. Um, and then I measured out 30 mils or two tablespoons of, um, I just have a Hidden, Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, I usually make my homemade ranch, but my immersion blender broke, so it's a lot harder for me to make that. Like it's it's a base of like homemade mayo. So as soon as I get a new immersion blender, I'm going to reshare that recipe with you guys. I think I have it somewhere here on my channel. If I can find it, I will link it for you, but it's like my secret ranch recipe. It's so good. Um, and it's based off of the whole 30 ranch, whole 30 diet ranch. Super awesome. Um, and then I also had kohlrabi. Um, the plate is like, the plate is sitting right behind me and I need to go dump it out in the garbage, but um, kohlrabi is like a, I wonder if there's any leftover in here so I can show you guys. Um, this is a teeny tiny little piece. So kohlrabi is like, okay, sorry, my battery died. Um, but this is what kohlrabi looks like. It's kind of like a, gosh, I can't even, I don't know, it kind of looks like a potato when you peel it. That's a good way of describing it. Um, but it tastes like, it doesn't taste like a cucumber. Um, but it kind of has that same consistency of like the harder part of the cucumber, um, but it's more of like a, I don't know, it's just a really fresh, crisp taste. Um, if you like celery and cucumbers and like cauliflower and broccoli, you would definitely like kohlrabi. It's super good and super underrated. Um, I had about a quarter cups worth of, I just have like discs. Um, my dad actually picks them up and like cut it up for, for us and it's so good, but, um, Anyway, it's like one gram of carbs for like a quarter cup of the kohlrabi. It's so good. Okay, so now I want to share um, just a couple of things with you guys. Um, I will be doing befores and afters um, once I feel more comfortable. So once I've lost my first 20 pounds, I will likely do just like a like a photo before and after. I'm trying to gather like video footage of my weight loss journey this time. So it can be impactful for not just me and watching my goals um, be hit and watching my success, but also for inspiration and motivation for you guys and showing you like, just, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love watching transformation videos. They're like one of my most favorite things because it motivates you, right? Like it's in the right mindset because it's like, well, if she can do it and she's a normal person, then I can do it, right? So anyway. I love it. I'm sorry, I've got Vampire Diaries going on in the background. It's like my guilty pleasure. But anywho, I am down, since two and a half weeks ago, I am down 10 and a half pounds. 10 and a half pounds. So I have not taken any initial footage yet. So I'm going to pause here before I share my dinner with you guys. And I'm going to record that, which again, I will share that video with you guys, my weekly video of like what I look like. At the time, I will be sharing that um, in a transformation video, probably like in bigger marks. I can't decide like 20, probably 25 pounds, 50 pounds. Um, and I don't know if I am gonna lose any more than that. Probably eventually I'd like to be super ripped and toned and hit like 75 pounds, but I would be like the smallest I've ever been. And that would be like super, super, super tiny. So 
Anyway, I'm gonna go into that. And then also, again, for lunch today, I am having a huge thing of water, and I need to go and get my vitamins and take those as well. All right, guys, I've done the worst job of sharing, like, physically, like, showing you what I ate today. So that's the rest of the cheesy green beans from Riker's tray. But I had cheesy green beans, the kid had, kid, the kid, the kids, and Mike had cheese curds, and then I had more buffalo wings. Mike and I had more buffalo wings. We're like obsessed with those Tyson buffalo wings. They're so good. Um, and they come in like several different flavors. There's like a garlic parmesan, there's a buffalo, and then there's like an applewood smoked one. Oh, they're so good. I had two tablespoons of ranch that I weighed out on the scale. Um, and I went over my calories, so I like, Technically and typically on keto, you do not need to calorie count, but I do just to make sure that I'm not overeating. Um, anyway, if I go into my fitness pal, I had 1800 calories, which is still well, well below my BMR. Um, so that still puts me into weight loss mode. Um, and then for carbs today, I had 33 grams of net carbs. And I did a little bit better on my protein. I had 118 grams of protein and my um, sat fats and everything else looked really good. All right, All right my last clip got kind of messed up. So um, basically I just wanted to wrap it up and tell you guys that, so the reason why I'm on this weight loss journey is because when I was pregnant with Kaya, um, I gained an additional 50 pounds on top of like my normal pregnancy weight and my normal pregnancy weight is 50 pounds so i gained like 100 pounds of kai um and i only lost half of it within like the first six weeks and then with Riker, i gained about 50 pounds lost all of it um in the first two weeks so and then i've always clung on to that like extra 50 pounds so I'm finally getting rid of the rest of this baby weight and this is the first of many videos you guys have seen me like over the past couple of years since I've had Riker you've kind of seen me um, like on this like health journey and how we've eliminated gluten and um, we're now eliminating more like inflammatory type foods and we're trying so like trying to um, inflammate what the, and trying trying to eliminate <laughs> like dairy products and just just things that are generally not processed as well so you've seen me on this journey over the past couple of years if you've been here for a while and I've made so much progress since I first started and I still have a double chin I still got my nice round cheeks and I still have hips and a butt and thighs and I'm just trying to lose the rest of the extra weight in the areas that I don't want, which is about 50 pounds, that extra baby weight that I gained with Kaya, the extra weight, I should say, I can't just blame it on pregnancy. Um, my first 15 weeks of both my pregnancies, I was very sick. With Riker's pregnancy, I was very diligent, counted calories to make sure that I was eating only what I needed to be eating. You do not need to eat for two, that is for sure. Um, and after my first 15 weeks with Kai, and I was able to actually eat food again, I went from gaining zero pounds to 100 pounds in like the remaining part of my pregnancy. And with Kaya, I swelled so, so bad. I did not record any of my pregnancy with Kaya, but you guys can even see, so like when I was in my birth vlog, like when I was giving birth to Riker, I look swollen. You should have seen me when I was like, having Kai, I was so much worse than that. My ankles are terrible, and at least with Riker, I didn't suffer from any of that. So I just want to say to you mamas, to you young women, if you, whoever you are, young men, men, if you are struggling with weight loss, I totally understand, and I hope that you guys are finding some inspiration and motivation from this What I Eat in a Day video. Again, I lost 10 pounds in two weeks on keto, and I do I try to do as much of a clean keto as possible. There was one day in there where we we went to McDonald's for breakfast because we were completely out of breakfast items. Um, and I kind of talked about this in the video, but I just got a McMuffin without the muffin. Um, now I suggest eating more of like a cleaner style keto instead of a dirty keto. Dirty keto works just as well for a lot of people. I find with my body, I, I tend to plateau when I eat that dirtier keto. So like 
going to Wendy's and ordering a burger without the bun. I just find that my waist plateaus. So if you're struggling with a plateau right now and you're on keto, I would suggest maybe trying like a cleaner version of it. So um, one of my go-tos um, is actually doing like kale smoothies and steaks and like chicken thighs and like asparagus, leafy greens, um, and then berries is um, a good one. You can have berries in moderation on keto. Avocados, eggs, those are great clean ways of eating when you're on keto. And then also like cutting out the dairy. Lots of people will put butter on and that works great, again, for a lot of people. Personally, for me, I find that my body, not just for losing weight, but health-wise, I feel better when I cut out the butter and I cut out the dairy, the cheese. I cut out all of that and I feel so much better and I'm less bloated. So, anyways, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you got all of the motivation and inspiration for your weight loss, whether you're kicking it off now or after the holidays. Really hoping I'm giving you guys some inspiration for that. Stay tuned for my weight loss journey over the next few months, over the next year. I'm so excited to show my transformation and motivate you. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It is for free, 99. Give it a big thumbs up, share it on your socials, leave a comment down below. It really helps out my videos and you help out my channel and you're supporting me and my little family. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new here, I'd love if you considered subscribing and joining my little family here on YouTube. All right, guys, I will see you on Sunday for Get It All Done With Me and on Monday for A Day in the Life. Okay, bye guys.